smile is a universal welcome. With this thought in our mind and heart, I, Srushti Kothilkar, student of Balaji Institute of Modern Management, feels privileged to introduce you all to our next guest speaker of today's 15th National Business Convention, Mr. Saptarshi Bhattacharya, Head HR, Business Partner and HR Analytics at Bajaj Alliance General Insurance Company Limited. He's an HR professional with 10 years of experience in talent acquisition, HR analytics, HR business partner, and employee at national level. He joined Bajaj Allianz, General Insurance Company Limited, as a management trainee, HR, in 2007. From there, his exceptionally superlative performance have let him climb the corporate ladder and reach the position of head HR. He did his master's in business administration from Army Institute of Management, Kolkata, in the year 2007. Further, he did his graduation from Symbiosis Pune. In December 2014, he received a Talent Acquisition Leadership League Award, Best in Diversity. Now, I would like to kindly request Mr. Saptarashi Bhattacharya, sir, to share his valuable acumen with us. Sir, the dice is all yours. Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, thanks for a lovely introduction. You should do my appraisals. Uh, Makes me look much better than what I am. But uh, uh, firstly, uh, I know you guys have had a long day and I have the privilege of boring you guys on insurance last thing in the evening. Uh, so I'll try to keep it short and crisp. And uh, good to see a lot of you again. I think I've interacted with one of the batches earlier, probably uh, during orientation. So yeah, a little bit of that will be a probably a repeat. Okay, uh, but yeah, one thing that will remain uh, common is that I won't be running a slide or a presentation. So you'll really have to listen to me. Okay, and uh, I know that I won't let anyone sleep here. And I also know the repercussions of a student in BIMM or the Balaji group sleeping in the auditorium. Okay, and uh, thanks for the corporate clap as always. Okay. Okay, so uh, what am I going to do today uh, is that we're going to talk about Insurance again. Uh, what is it that insurance is really changing? Uh, how is it that it's changing? There are so many things we keep hearing uh, these days about technology. What is the ground reality about technology? How are things changing for you and me as a customer or as a uh, you know as a potential employee? Because I know many of you will be sitting for placement soon. Okay. Uh, and how is it that uh, this this whole Industry is going to change over the next five seven years. So, how many uh, how many folks here from the junior batch? Quite a few, and these guys have not interacted with, right? Good, you guys are gone. Okay, how many here from the senior batch? Okay, uh, okay, fair enough. And how many of you own an insurance policy for yourself? What or what? Everyone own, owns an insurance policy. How did that happen? Okay, how many of you have a mobile policy? How many own a mobile insurance policy? Same question I had asked one and a half years back. Kuch nahi sudra hai. Eh? Okay, good. What was I trying to... Uh, what we're trying to prove here is that uh, you guys still don't understand insurance. So it's good. Now, I come from a company called Bajaj Lands General Insurance. Now, this is not a pre placement talk. I'm not trying to make you guys sit for the company for a final placement. But what is general insurance? Okay, and very simply put, general insurance is anything but life insurance. Right? So, motor insurance, health insurance, property insurance. Home insurance, uh, the college insurance, Ganpati Mandap insurance, crop insurance, aviation insurance, you name it. Okay, so as an industry, we, we are pretty old now. I mean, uh, the private sector is about 16, 17 years old. Um, we, we started off in 2001. And uh, if you look at the history of Bajaj and Allianz, uh, uh, Allianz is a German company based out of Munich. Uh, 126 year old company now. Uh, based in more than 78 countries today across the globe and uh, uh, as I said, uh, one, the biggest insurance company in the world today. Uh, they are a trillion dollar company. 
the Bajaj Group, I think you all have heard of it. Uh, it's the same Bajaj scooter, same Chetak, same group. I think uh, in 2008, when Rahul Bajaj officially retired, his two sons, uh, unlike the Ambani's, they are in good terms. Okay, so his two sons, uh, Rajiv Bajaj took over Bajaj Auto and Sajiv Bajaj took over and started Bajaj Pinsurve. Bajaj Pinsurve is a holding company uh, which has done phenomenally well in the last 10 years in the Indian insurance and banking space. They are not a bank, but everywhere you go, you go to Proma, you go to anywhere, you get those 0% EMI. That's what BFL Bajaj Finance does. And as an insurance company uh, and with BFL put together, Bajaj Pinsurve is the group. Now, to make you understand how well Bajaj Pinsurve has done in the last 10 years, let's put it this way. Had you invested 1 lakh rupees in 2008 in a Bajaj Pinsurve share, that 1 lakh would have been due 2 crores today. Okay. So, we take a lot of pride in the fact that we are working in an organization whose listing price has gone up 200 times. Okay, and that does not happen overnight. It takes a lot of time to build a business and it takes a lot of time to sustain a business. And that's what I was coming to, you know, when we keep hearing of all the startups, we keep hearing of all these new companies coming up and, you know, becoming billion dollar companies overnight. You don't want to end up like a snap deal. Right, and you don't want to end up without a sustainable model. And that's why sustainability in any business is extremely important. Now, you'll not believe it. Of course, you all would have heard those same old statistics that, you know, 98 out of 100 startups fail, only 2 succeed, this and that. In Bajaj Alliance, we tell our employees one thing. That you assume that you're working in a startup. Bring in new ideas, bring in new technology, bring in fresh blood. Because what is the business that we are in? We are in a very boring business, right? We are in a very simple business of selling a promise. As cliche as it may sound, that's what we do. We give the customer a piece of paper. Say, if you get something, we are there for you. We don't advertise. There is no Bajaj Lands TV ad you would have seen. Life insurance maybe, nothing in general insurance. We don't have any of those khaya lapka type ads. Okay? And uh, we definitely don't... Uh, uh, go and thump our chest when we actually service claims the way we are supposed to. So, in 2014 when the JNK floods happened, we settled 1,200 crores of claims. In 2015 when the Chennai floods happened, we settled 600 crores of claims. When did the Mumbai floods happen? The recent one. How many days back? Yeah. So, today is the fourth day from the Mumbai floods. Can you believe it that Bajaj Land General Insurance has already settled 300 crores of claims in 72 hours? These are health claims, these are motor claims, these are property claims. On the day of the flood, on the day of the flood, our Pravari office had 52 employees camping in the branch overnight, having vada pao for dinner and watching Bahubali. These employees, we gave a comp off on the second day. And they were all in full force. Of course, that's the spirit of Mumbai that we keep hearing about. And these people by themselves are willing to work overnight to ensure that our customers don't suffer. That is the sort of culture we've been able to build. And that again is something that can't be done overnight. So let's come back to the business of what we do. We ask the customers to pay us a premium. And we cover a certain risk. Let's take car insurance for example. A brand new car which costs 10 lakh rupees. We earn a premium of around 20 to 25 thousand rupees for that. And then we promise the customer that if something happens to your car, we will take care of the damage. Now imagine that car goes and meets with an accident and is completely totaled. So for 25 thousand that I have earned, I have to pay 10 lakh rupees as claims. Definitely not a profitable model. So, how do you make profits here? You ensure that many more cars and then you keep your fingers crossed to raise the claim. But you also try to cross sell products. So, today, if I know that Bajaj Pulsars in Orissa for me are a declined list, what loss are there? Why is Bajaj Pulsar my loss? Cut up, all Bajaj Pulsar engine is 
ए परमिशन टू स्पीक इन हिंदी गाइस तो गायब जब होने लगे वी एक्चुअली वेंट एन इन्वेस्टिगेटेड दैट कि भाई हो क्या रहा है बाइक चोरी नहीं हो रही है इंजन गायब हो रहा है देन वी वेंट एन इन्वेस्टिगेटेड एंड देन वी रियलाइज दैट एवरी सिंगल द एवरी सिंगल बोट ऑन द चिल्का लेक रन्स ऑन द पल्सर इंजन इंडियंस जुगाड़ू होते हैं ठीक है बट दैट्स हाउ सो इमेजिन वी हैड लाइक 300 बजाज पल्सर्स विद मिसिंग इंजन एंड देन वी गॉट देम ऑन बोट्स then you had this whole thing about uh, you know uh, i don't know if i narrated this but i'll definitely narrate this one uh, of a farmer in amnagar and even if i have told that the cause of repetition there are two stories i always repeat so you will have to hear it sorry seniors but uh, this is a farmer in amnagar uh, who had a personal accident cover with us uh, for a 1 crore policy which means that in case he meets with an unfortunate death the personal accident cover was 1 crore now he met with an accident and he lost his right hand uh, which comes under 40% disability so obviously a 40% of 1 crore is 40 lakhs which was his claim now when we actually investigated the claim and we had was a big claim yahan pe log educated students from b schools have iphones but they don't insure it and here's a farmer who's not educated in ahmednagar who has insured himself for personal accident so it was a strange thing for us and we got to know that this guy had 12 other personal accident covers from different companies now that is a definite fraud trigger for us ki ek banda 12 insurance policy for personal accident kyun lega so we sent an investigation team down there by the way we have our own investigation team where we hire retired cbi inspectors so they actually went down there and turns out that there was no accident the fir was fake the guy went to a friend's nursing home and got his hand amputated Okay, and when we actually met the guy, we were like, <laughs> like what the hell? And he said, you know what? This is my retirement plan. I am sixty years old. I am a farmer. Eleven insurance companies' average claim size is about twenty lakhs per company. That's about two and a half crores. I am sorted for my life. So it shook us. You know, as an insurance company, every year we hear of some new claim. there is like here yeah how can someone do something like that and india is one of the only countries we actually hear of something like this i tell you why because in the western countries a uh, insurance fraud is a criminal uh, it's a criminal case basically you can go to jail if you uh, mess around with the insurance company's claim in the underdeveloped countries people can't afford insurance india is somewhere in between where people have money they have property they can afford insurance but we kida dimag bhi hai ki main fraud se kaise nikal lu so when the chennai uh, floods happened in 2014 15 we paid claims but you know close to 14% of those claims are fraud claims gaadi damage nahi hui hai but 2 saal ho gaya gaadi mauka mila hai dhakka de ke adyar mein fek gaya insurance claim milega to puri nayi gaadi khareed lunga that happens so we bring in a lot of technology that helps us make profits in this business and please don't mistake profits with not paying claims as an insurance company we'll be right out there up there to pay those claims right but profits mean that i'm not an ngo here i'm here to make profits profits mean that at the time of selling a policy question the customer as much as you want to but tomorrow when there's a claim pay that claim ethically and that's where the rest of the insurance industry is got it wrong and that's why customers have such a lack of trust in insurance companies ki main bima kyu khareedu khareed bhi liya to company claim nahi pe karegi let's take my story so i am a forgy kid okay and uh, uh, my father was in uh, he, he was a doctor and i was born in this uh, uh, huge city called bengdubi okay it's not a city guys you will google it and not get it okay uh, it's it's a small military cantonment in the tri junction border of india nepal and bhutan and i was born in military hospital bengdubi i studied in place like uh, uh, pabina lalgarh jatta uh, jhansi and then pune and i am one of those very rare proud kvites okay any kvites here oh boy lovely okay so you guys know what i'm talking about right so 
Asthmas are coming. It's like, woof. Yeah. So, 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 studying in the KV uh, made me realize one thing. And I think being a Fauci kid, I think that's the one other thing that, you know, one is that you keep adapting. You keep changing schools. You keep changing cities. You keep meeting new people. Uh, guys, can you just have your attention, please? Yeah. And secondly, even if you study in one KV for seven or eight years, it's very interesting because every time there's a new Fauci unit that comes there, you have to make new friends. So, I studied in KV Sangama in Pune for about seven years. And it was interesting. Her two years, I didn't have any questions. So, suddenly, I would have uh, 200 Gurkha classmates. Then, I would have 200 Khalsa classmates. Then, I would have 200, uh, you know, Maratha Light Infantry, uh, Maharashtra uh, kids as classmates. So, and we Bongs aren't the biggest warriors. So, there's no other than Bengal sappers. So, I didn't have any Bengali classmates. Okay, so... Everyone says, you don't know about Bengali. I said, you don't know about Bengali because I have never spoken Bengali in school or with my classmates. I have spoken everything but that. So, I have a Gurkhali. So, and that I would believe and how many Fauji kids here? Yeah. All of you know what I am talking about. That, that belief of being a Fauji kid and we take so much pride. We understand that we are Fauji. So, I can tell you with a lot of confidence today that that helped me in my professional life. So, every time I interview students, every time I interview uh, in campuses or you know, even laterally, if a guy says, and I am not having any bias here guys, okay, if a guy says that yeah, my father is in the army or even a central government services background, the steel belt, the coal belt, the entire Raur Kela Jhasukda belt, you know, or the entire uh, the banking sector, SBI, you know, who are, and they have again been in similar backgrounds and similar locations. I think the flexibility that, that those kids have shown uh, in their professional life is way beyond what a city kid typically has. And nothing against city kids. But the fact is that flexibility is something that we expect from students. And if tomorrow you're not flexible enough, then there's a definite question in your growth. So how many Delhiites here? All the Delhiites, come on. Charma mat yaar, yaan pe teen Delhiites ho nahi sakte. Come on. Okay. Now Delhiites, and I, I would have again addressed this. You ask a Delhiite in a an interview, are you willing to go anywhere pan India? Sir, I Delhi se Pune, I have come all the way to Bali society to study MBA as if this is Mount Everest. Okay. And this has actually happened where I have asked for location preferences. I have got Delhi, Gurgaon and Noida. Okay. So, I will personally ensure that that boy goes to Chennai then. But seriously, no one wants to go to Chennai. No one wants to go to Calcutta. No one wants to go to Gujarat. And the vaguest excuses. Dry state is it. There you go. See, you guys are already you guys are already relating to it. My only question is, why are you here? Why are you in this college? Kya pad rahe ho? Management. Manage it. Okay, but for all these students, the first year kids who are going to be doing the summer internships, the seniors who are going to be actually sitting for final placement. I can tell you, if you have preconceived notions about two things, you're already killing your career before it, it even begins. One is location flexibility. Be open to relocate anywhere pan India. We are not the army, so you're not going to Baramula or Tinsukya. Okay, but Chennai is not Baramula. It's not that bad a place. Okay, so one is that. Second, be open to exploring different industries. Majority of you, 90% of you today are freshers here. So whatever you think or don't think of a particular industry is whatever you heard from your immediate seniors. Or whatever you have probably seen on a couple of uh, uh, you know ads here and there. So you don't really know what's good about the insurance sector. You really don't know what's bad about the FMCG sector. But everyone wants to join, F join FMCG, right? 
विदाउट नोइंग की होता क्या है कि कल मैं अगर प्लेस हो भी गया ना किसी एक एफ कंपनी में मेरा काम क्या होगा सो बिफोर यू गेज एक्चुअली सिट फॉर फाइनल प्लेसमेंट आज क्यों सेल्फ दिस क्वेश्चन वॉट इज माई जॉब गोइंग टू बी नाइन टू सिक्स एवरी डे How many finance students here? How many of you think you really going to get placed in the Morgan Stanley? How many HR kids here? None of you will get placed as a head HR. How many marketing guys here? How, how many of you think that you will do marketing and you won't do sales? ठीक है, सो ये सब मिथ्स ना बी स्कूल में छोड़ के आना द बिगेस्ट एनिमी द बिगेस्ट एनिमी ऑफ योर करियर इज गोइंग टू बी फिलिप कॉटलर ओके विद ड्यू रिस्पेक्ट टू द एकेडमिक करिकुलम ऑफ एवरी बी स्कूल इन इंडिया ऑल यू मार्केटिंग गाइज विल हैव टू सेल आई एज एन एच आर गाई sell my company to all of you you as finance guys will be selling something or the other within your internal customers so sales is in your dna okay so don't have ek free ka advice le lo interview mein ye mat bolna ki i want to do marketing and not sales theek hai aapka career udhar hi khatam hai theek hai second is specific to the hr folks be open for profiles within hr okay it could be recruitments it could be uh, hr vp it could be generalist uh, as against what aib says hr is not about making rangolis okay uh, <laughs> trust me uh, trust me hiring and firing is not that easy a job recruiting the right guy and sitting with an employee when you have to terminate that guy is the most difficult discussion you can ever have in your life okay so all i'm trying to say is figure out whenever a company comes to campus and forget placements in the long longer scheme of things what do you want to do every day in office from 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock and that's the answer you should be looking at and technology is changing i can tell you that back office roles will not exist 5 years to 7 years from now okay i'll give you a very simple example guys silence please okay i'll give you a very simple example on how technology is disrupting the way we look at business okay uh now when i say business for us motor insurance is very big right uh because every car has to be insured legally in india so this is actually been introduced by bajaj alliance in uh uh november 2016 it's called telematics telematics is a simple pen drive sort of a device that gets plugged into your car and it detects the car's movements it detects everything from how much you are how you are driving how much petrol you are saving how your driving style in a proper there's an app that actually syncs to your phone and it tells you that had you driven like this today you would have saved this much in petrol and in the larger scheme of things in case of an accident it tells the insurance company that this car is met with an accident so how has that helped us as a customer facing company today the moment any of my telematics device cars has an airbag deployment we get a notification saying your customer has met with an accident we ensure firstly our policies come at 24/7 assist so we ensure we call up the customer immediately first thing is are you fine second is do you need we even provide ambulance and helicopter evacuations as a part of our insurance policies now i'll tell you how telematics helps the insurance company one is for the customer so telematics is very very widely spread in the us market now i've seen a live map and ibm drives telematics in a very big way for alliance in us and i have actually seen that map it's amazing okay so you can see in the live map all the vehicles moving around in i think this was los angeles that they could actually see all the cars with telematics devices moving around in la they can also see a hailstorm coming from one side of the city 
the telematics device automates and sends a notification to a to the driver so you can listen as per your device's location we see that you are heading towards your house but near your house is a very very severe hailstorm don't proceed there one kilometer from where you are there is a starbucks park your car under a shade have a coffee here is a starbucks coupon the coffee is on us and go home after 2 hours what has that done for me as an insurance company i have insured that i have saved a 100 dollar claim for a 2 dollar coffee simple science so we introduce something called cdc that's basically your customer so motor claims again i'll talk about motor again so typically when a motor how does a motor claim actually happen so your car meets with an accident it's taken to a garage then there is a surveyor who goes and takes photos of the car submits a file ki itna claim aana chahiye itna pay hoga then the customer gets a transfer into his account now what we are saying is we have launched a new device as a customer you download our app your car meets with an accident which is a minor accident that the car can be driven around scratch lag gaya dent lag gaya you click a photo of your car upload it in our server an instant there is an app there is a technology that actually does a car scan detects the damage amount and does an nfe transfer to your mobile to your bank account immediately we have launched it now can you imagine what that is done for the cost, uh, for the company i have reduced our 7 day tat to a 5 minute tat from 7 days to 5 minutes it saved me on cost it saved me on customer service and it saved me most importantly on job uh, what we call as customer satisfaction now and this is evolving at a phenomenal pace when i joined bajaj lands i had no clue about insurance i was one of those hr folks but when i joined and i'll repeat the what story guys some of you might remember that so when i joined bajaj lands i was going through the induction program that all other mts go through now tab mere ko insurance kuch nahi pata tha i seriously i was like you guys so i had a preconceived notion that insurance is hashtag bima tab hashtag tha nahi okay we didn't have instagram we had orkut then so it was hashtag bima okay it was hashtag loads of files in a old office and it was hashtag old uncles you know who are typical psu type babu culture and all that then i joined bajaj lands for the average age of employees 29 and this this is just out of the mumbai floods of 2006 uh, where we had a lot of claims that came from cars but the single largest claim came from a watch showroom okay and this watch showroom was insured by bajaj lands and we're talking of top end watches we're talking of tissos rados omegas rolexes the average uh, claim uh, the average uh, value of a watch was 1.4 1.5 lakh rupees and that showroom as luck would have it got flooded but the watches were kept in the shelves and the upper floors and they were absolutely not touched and the warranty papers were kept in the storeroom that got washed away now the swiss as brilliant as they as they are in making watches the world's best watches swiss made handcrafted single piece imported watches apparently they're not smart enough to replicate a warranty paper right so under that and no customers going to buy a watch for 1 and 1/2 lakh rupees if you don't give a warranty paper right so under that technicality bajaj lands had to pay full 3.5 crores of claims for close to 800 watches in perfect working condition now unfortunately we didn't have olex so quicker then so what we did was we got those watches to pune we were the legal owners into our uh, canteen cleared out the canteen sold it to our employees for 2000 3000 bucks a piece unfortunately for me i joined after this incident and uh, okay but when i joined uh, i saw that and i have always had this thing for watches you know so when i joined i was like yaar ye kya company hai yaar sabke paas rolex they must be paying well you know uh we pay fairly well uh but yeah why do i always narrate this is that it totally changed the perception that i had about insurance yaar ghadi ki bima kisne sochi thi theek hai so it is not a boring sector it's not about only cars and files and uh, i mean for all those guys who love cars is good for them but uh, it's not about files and it's not about a boring space to work in it is one of the only sectors where you have 
10 other industries built into it. They have a tie with 150 banks. Any Yes Bank, any IDBI Bank, any Canara Bank branch, any uh, PNB, Punjab National Bank branch, you go to, you'll see Bajaj Finance there. We are tied with 150 banks across the country with 25,000 bank branches across the country. So if you want to go into banking and not insurance, there was an incident that happened uh, in a college, I won't name the college, uh, about 4-5 years back. There was a student who sat for the PPT and then he sat for the GD. He cleared the GD and when he came for the PI, uh, the first thing he tells me is that, sir, please don't mind, but I want to opt out of the process. And I was like, why did you even sit for the process? So, he gave me a lot of gyan, placement cell ne, sab is na. Okay, It wasn't this college. So, uh, then later, he was, so he said, sir, I want to opt out, but please don't tell my placement cell. I'll be barred from placement. I said, fine, yeah, ja. But he was very thankful, he was in touch with me immediately. Matlab, mein college se nikla ki Facebook, LinkedIn request aagaya and all of that. Okay, and uh, uh, he was in touch with me. And I before he left, I asked him one question that, what's your dream company? He said, sir, my dream, I won't get into banking. My dream company is Standard Trust. I said, good for you. Uh, about, only about a week later, he got placed in Standard Trust. He was a, he was, a, he was like Alice in Wonderland. He was very happy. And, uh, about a year later, he calls me on one day saying, sir, is there any vacancy in Bajaj? I really want to come. I said, what happened? He says, sir, I said, I am uh, in Stand Chartered, which is a bank insurance partner for Bajaj Finance Life Insurance. So, I, my 50% KRA is to sell Bajaj Finance Life Insurance for me. Life, not general insurance. Okay. And I had told him that, that you know you would rather join a general insurance company and sell general insurance products than join a bank and sell our products. So you cannot in escape insurance, just FII. No matter which bank you get placed in, you will have targets to sell insurance. If you are interested in the automobile space, I said the motor marketing is one of the biggest areas. Health insurance, travel insurance, technology, web sales, digital marketing. Our national head of digital marketing is your alumni from 2006 batch. Where are we? Our branch managers across the country are your alumni. I have been hiring in your college for the last 9 years now. I feel like an alumni here. Okay. And, and I can tell you... Uh, so, and I can tell you that we have so many of your alumni doing phenomenally well here. Speak to them. I am HR, I am giving you But speak to your own alumni who will tell you that the average tenure of an employee in the BFSI space today is only 18 months. That means people move jobs every one and a half years. The average tenure of an ex Bajaj Lines management trainee is five and a half years. Three times of what the industry is at. Pragya Jha, she's from a very recent batch. I think she's 2015 batch, uh, BIMM. She's today a part of the core uh, health insurance vertical in the head office, directly under the MD and CEO in two years' time. So the opportunities will be there for you to grab. But it's only possible if you don't close. And I can tell you there are, like Bajaj Lens, 10 of the great companies that come to this campus. But you are fooling yourselves by saying, no, I'm going to wait for that company and that industry without knowing anything about it. So study the industries, study the technology, study the growth in that industry. Today, the insurance sector in India is only 1 lakh crores. In the next 5 years, that is expected to be 10 lakh crores. It's expected to grow 10 fold. And that's the sort of growth you guys will get. Today, Bajaj Lands is only 7,500 employees. We're going to be 20,000 in the next 5 years. 20,000 employees. With currently 20,000 agents, which is going to be about 80,000 agents, insurance agents. So, we are going to provide employment to 1.5 lakh people by 2022. And that's how proud we are in doing what we do. What's important? It's for you to understand that as a company, the company should be ethical, the company should have values, 
today for example bajaj lands uh, firstly we do a lot for our employees but we do a lot for the society as well uh, under our csr uh, we we partnered with a company called uh, it's an ngo called smile train in uh, banaras in varanasi uh, where we actually fund complete surgery costs for children who have cleft lip so cleft lip is one of the most tabooed it's not even a disease but it's a taboo if a child is born with a cleft lip the child is actually banned from society cleft lip is that absolutely so it's very common and people don't know it's only a very small surgery but it costs about 7 8000 rupees we have sponsored 19000 children's surgeries this year itself as part of csr we are sponsoring the education of 10000 children who come from underprivileged backgrounds but have at least in the graduation we sponsored three month certificate course in banking and insurance so that they become employable these are children who cannot afford an mba we next year are planning to adopt every single free child in pune and educate them so these so these are some small things that we do for the society at large but for our own employees we have something very simple we have something called a pehle hamare leaves are 46 saal ke theek hai 46 leaves 24 earned leaves 12 casual leaves and 10 holidays but you have something called a mandatory leave you have to take 7 days of mandatory leave in a year which is 7 days of consecutive leave which inevitably gets clubbed to two weekends so it becomes like a 10 event day holiday you have to take it if you don't take it we deduct it from your salary okay and why do we do that because we realize that in the whole rut of working for and growing up the ladder people often forget ki what are you working for you're working for what you're working for yourself you're working for your family you're working for your own passion it's important to continue that i'm majorly into wildlife photography my friends call me mogli once in a month i am in a ranthambore or a pench or a tadoba but i have made it a point to ensure that i have been able to balance that with my work and that's very important whatever you do you know it's important to figure out that one passion ideally it should not be facebook or instagram ideally and a very simple advice to keep yourselves knowledgeable please read the newspaper i advise this to every student i meet that please read the newspaper every day i'm not talking economic times i'm not talking business standard i'm talking about day to day front page you padlo na kafi hai i'll tell you why i'm saying that in 2014 you had this whole uh, lokpal bill thing right so that year in campus it was one of our hot topics for group discussion and we were giving the topic of lokpal bill in group discussion now everyone spoke about it you know everyone said ki corruption bahut ganda hai na hazare bhagwan hai ye wo all of that theek hai but no one was addressing the topic of the bill what is the lokpal bill talking about and midway through the campus i realized that the students had no clue what the lokpal bill was about so today we talk of gst right i can assure you with due respect 95% of you still don't know what gst is all about so it's not your fault i would say it's a generation gap and i'm just 33 i don't think i'm that old but i always make it a point to have my morning cup of coffee with my newspaper and just do that trust me it will help you guys a lot not just for placements but in general in life and the funny thing is that when we talk of gd is and uh, again some advice when because placements start in less than a month when it comes to group discussions please understand that every gd topic whether gd is a fair way of elimination or not is a different debate but the fact is that it is a way of elimination 10 log gd mein baithte to teen log hi shortlist hote hain saath log ab reject ho gaye gd se so speak to the point speak sensibly you don't get extra points for starting a gd trust me so no it, it it's really funny and uh it's really funny because when i go for campus and i see uh, 
a group discussion i'll have two people or three people who'll jump and start a gd dear friends let me start by saying uh, that sir has given us such a wonderful topic to discuss and the topic is for all you know whether rape should be given the capital punishment and wahan pe bhi us sir has given us such a wonderful topic chal raha so just for the heck of it don't start a gd in those 15 minutes even if you make two good points it has more value than someone who's yapping nonsense for 10 minutes okay so i can assure you that i can assure you that any recruiter well i can speak for recruiters so i don't give abstract topics i give very generic topics okay i won't give you blue okay वो यार समझ में नहीं आ रहा मुझको सो अगेन आई शेयर अ स्मॉल स्टोरी विद यू गाइस व्हेन आई वाज इन कॉलेज इन द बॉयज हॉस्टल गाइस कम ऑन ओके आई आई टेक 10 मोर मिनट्स ओके सो व्हेन आई वाज इन द बॉयज हॉस्टल आई हैड टू ट्रेन माय बैचमेट्स फॉर सिटिंग फॉर ग्रुप डिस्कशन सो माय कम्युनिकेशन वाज कंपैरेटिवली बेटर टू माय बैचमेट्स एंड आई हैड टू टेक मॉक जीडीज इन द नाइट सो व्हाट इज टू टिपिकली एंड टिपिकली बॉयज हॉस्टल में पता है कैसे होता है सो No one is to take it seriously, but those serious they they would sincerely come to my room and then put up. Now the first company that came to my campus was an, a very big IT company, okay? and they had vacancies in HR. And one of my favorite seniors had got placed there, so that's how it is. You know, my senior year, so that company is best. So I sat for it and I was GD out. Okay, uh, the topic given to my uh, group was fried ice cream. अब मेरे को वो मतलब एंड आई स्टिल रिमेंबर माय बैचमेट्स कुकिंग अप सच अमेजिंग बुलशिट इन दैट जीडी ओके फ्राइड आइसक्रीम इज दिस इट्स दैट इट्स लाइक माय फादर्स पर्सनालिटी बाहर से कड़ा था मैं से नरम एंड ऑल दैट यू नो सो 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 पहले तो मतलब फ्राइड आइसक्रीम उसके ऊपर सच क्रैप ओके आई रियलाइज वन थिंग I promised myself that that if I ever go into recruitment, I will not give such topics ever. Okay, so no abstract topics. Okay, from me at least. And most of the companies are moving towards simple GD topics. Okay, the whole idea is to basically see how good you are in terms of communicating within the group. Now, I've had this whole thing around PIs as well. Now, personal interviews. Again, it's only a fifteen. Uh, okay, how many of you have done your summer internships with Bajaj Nyan? General Insurance. Any Bajik interns here? Okay, good. No secrets. Okay. Uh, now, in these again, you're all freshers. Those two months of internship that you guys have done is the only corporate exposure you've had. And I know a fact, and we all know this fact, that for two months, me, most companies have asked you a question or a question. So don't give us कि आपने पूरी कंपनी बदल दी है. Stick to the simplest. We look at you know this. I get asked this question very often. That what are you looking at when you actually go to a campus? My answer is this. We are not looking at the most dynamic student here. We are not looking at the batch topper. With due respect to the toppers, okay. We are not looking at someone who has been academically at a ninety-five percent throughout their life. we are looking at the students who are most passionate most flexible and most sincere that's all we care about academics for me has no relevance okay and so so and i'll be very honest guys i'll be very honest here in my 10 standard boards in my 10 standard boards uh in social studies i got 80 81 in science i got 84 and in english i got some 80 81 in maths i got 33 and in hindi i got 44 so my aggregate was just about 60 or 61% and uh, i realized that throughout my career i would have had that taboo कि मैथ्स में इसको 33 में लगा गधा यार अब वेरी सिंपल थिंग फॉर मी वाज सो आई हैड अ रोड एक्सीडेंट अबाउट 6 मंथ्स बिफोर माय 10 बोर्ड्स 
and I chopped a little finger. Okay. So yeah, I have four and a half fingers. Okay. I can tell you it's 430. Okay, but because of that, I missed my last six months of classes and I could not study. If you don't study, you will not get a 90%. And honestly, I was never that good in the academics. But would it have been fair for Bajaj Lands to have not hired me? Because in my 10th standard, I had a road accident, chopped my finger, got poor marks in my maths. And hence, I don't have a 60% throughout, for example. So Bajaj Lands does not have that criteria. And for me, the biggest advantage is, as a recruiter, I have never had that criteria. So for us, that's not a mandate to any college that 60% throughout. And that's why I said, we are looking at students who are willing to stretch. And again, with due respect to the, to the society, listen, we, we already know a fact that today, if we are going to grow at this level, we need students like you. So it's a two-way marriage. We have to provide you a good employment. You guys also need to understand what the company expects from you. But that is very important. The first two to three years of your career, keep your options open. That's my only advice. And as a company, I think every company, the way they're growing, now there are some sectors this year that's taken a hit. For example, ITITS this year is going to be pretty difficult here. I don't think there are going to be too many companies around the ITITS sector coming for placements. But banking and insurance is flourishing right now. Today, we have, so we were about 200 virtual offices uh, uh, we have about 200 virtual branch offices till 2014. Now, do you know how many towns are there in India? Towns, how many towns in India? Around 8,000 towns in India. 8,000 towns in India and 5 lakh villages in India. Now, with 200 offices, we, would, we used to think that we are uh, an amazing company and we are all over the, we are, we are huge. Then we realized we are nowhere. So we started a concept called a virtual office model where we said that we will go to every nook and corner of the country. We will hire a full-time on roles employee, a local in a tier 3 and 4 town. He'll work from home. He'll work from a tab. He'll work. He'll sell insurance through the tab. He'll settle insurance claims through that tab. Everyone said it can't work. Today we have 1,000 locations with virtual offices and we want to expand that to 3,000 in the next 2 years. Then... Then people said that, you know what, HR ladkyo ke liye hai, market again says ladko ke liye hai. In Bajaj lands, the CMO of the company is a lady, the national head of agency is a lady, the national head of bank assurance is a lady, the zone manager of south zone is a lady. So whoever gives all the girls sitting here who have taken up marketing as majors that you can't sell, ask them to go take a hike. Okay, and Keep that belief in yourselves that you're talking of insurance and people say insurance is difficult to sell. We have 35 all women's branches. All women's branches. 35 branches across the country, not just in Pune, Mumbai, Bangalore and Delhi and the big cities, but even in Shillong and Guwahati. Now, why did we start these 35 all women's branches? Because my guys, while they were very good in doing sales, would not walk into a beauty parlor. They would not walk into a boutique. They would not approach a housewife who is selling Tupperware and Amway products. But these ladies by themselves have a huge purchasing power. And that's exactly what our ladies in the all women's branches are doing. So, again, preconceived notions, right? In B schools, HR is only for uh, girls. Okay, and even my batch, there were 16 of us in HR, 14 girls, 2 guys. That's not why I took HR, but... Uh, so don't again have any of these myths around you, right? Uh, I think uh, that's it from me. I think very broadly speaking, uh, guys, buck up. Okay, you have a month to go for placements. Uh, this first job that you guys will get into, and I'm pretty confident knowing your placement cell in the society here, all of you will get placed. Okay, but this is your first job. Don't look at your first job as an opportunity to get a better job. Join your first job with that motivation that you're going to make a career here. Whichever company that is. Right? 
and keep your options open. Don't close any industries at this age, at such a young age in your career. That's it from me then. Uh, always a pleasure interacting with uh, uh, the Balaji students. I think we'll be back very soon for final placements. We've not fixed a date yet. So see you then. Yeah? Okay. Bye. I may express our sincere thanks to our guest speaker, Mr. Saptarshi Bhattacharya, for giving an excellent coverage to emerging challenges in the business environment. It's my privilege to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion of first day of 15th National Business Convention, wherein we celebrate ideas. I, Supriya Malhotra, on behalf of BIMM, an entire fraternity of management here together, acknowledge our gratitude to all the speakers for deliberating and sharing their opinions on the topic today. An event like this cannot happen overnight. We have been fortunate enough to be backed by a very dedicated team. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot thank everyone enough for their involvement to take on the completion of tasks beyond their comfort zones. We thank the audience for being with us this evening. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sophia.